Cause I don't care what you think. I don't we have to keep our wedding guest list Love. below 250. Woo, 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 woo. Lower, lower, lower. Here's a name we can cross off. Mm. Oh no, Pineapple Cecil. Isn't he the one who draws a face on his stomach and makes his belly button talk? Mm. Hold on, hold on. We back at it again. <laughs> I bet y'all did not know. The Lord knows Steve's family like that. You know what I'm saying? I'll bet y'all didn't know that, but we back at it again. The life lessons of Stephen Lord and Stephen Lower time. Check your time all the time. Hey, I mean, what's the love lesson, man? Know what you're getting into. You know <laughs> what we can learn from Stephen Lower in this situation. Like I said, when Lord said, I want to marry you, I want to marry all of you. You know what I'm saying? Bring it on. I marry you. <laughs> oh, God. Cecil's the one who shoves paint up his nose and sneezes portraits. Oh, Laura. <laughs> Laura. I bet he's very prolific during cold and flu season. Oh yeah, that's when he does landscape. Oh. Lord, 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 have you thought, have you thought this through, girl? You you're about to become an Urkel. I, there's all the different characters in his family. No, I think she started through though. That's the point though. That's the point. She started through. Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> I don't see your parents' name on this list. Oh, I mm. call them in Moscow, and they said they would be busy on our wedding day. Wow. Busy. Right. Yeah, that's bad luck would have it. Their favorite episode of the Mod Squad is coming on. Mm. Of course, over there it's called Modski Squadski. <laughs> Wow. You know, that I think is the most ridiculous asinine thing ever. Laura made Steve wait, right? You know, you mean till she was able to give him what he's asking for? You know, Laura made him wait for the best version of herself. Let's just stay on that for a second. Laura made him wait, right? It's another thing that gets on my nerves. You know, people say stuff like, well, Laura didn't get with Steve till he got some status, which again is, is just a flat out lie. If you want to say that Laura got with the reinvented version, right? The more mature reinvented version of Steve Urkel. Absolutely. I need y'all to stop acting like, because what y'all act like is Laura didn't get with Steve till everybody else wanted him. That's how y'all act like. And that is just not the case. If we remember this. For sure. For sure. And he just recently gave himself a makeover. Hmm. Please give it up for Mr. Stephen Q. Urkel. Stephen. <laughs> Five dollars. Hmm. I got oh, yeah, this. come on. I know, right. Five dollars. Right. Mm. Thank you. I, I'll be going now. Okay, and his new to do went into a room full of women who would not even bid five dollars on him. Oh, by the way, this version of Steve is also the one that Myra rejected. Okay, so we got to stop acting like Laura came after Steve after all these women are coming after Steve like he was the Beatles. No, they still didn't want him. She needed to really understand what she was getting into with Steve, and that's why the timing is absolutely. Perfect. Y'all don't understand it though. This is the place that Steve needed Laura to be where it's just about her and him. Of course over there it's called Modski Squadski. Wow. <laughs> TV show. Well, I, I guess that's two less badger fillets we have to pay for. <laughs> uh, Laura, there is something, something else I'd like to bring up. Mm. In Urkel tradition mm -hmm. to wait three months before consummating the marriage. Did you say three months? Uh, Steve, Steve, Steve. You have waited long enough, bruh, bruh. You have waited long enough. You get married to make it happen. Okay? You get married to make it happen. Step one. What is that? ID bracelet. ID, I got you. Got Step you. Step two. Uh -huh, proposal. Uh -huh. Proposal. Step mm. three. Wedding. Wedding. Step four. Wedding night. Wedding night, Steve. Wedding night, Steve. Oh. Mm. said I was special. Mm. Trust him. But even just lies so he can get what he wanted. It's really good that Laura is learning, even though this is pain, right? Uh, it's really good that Laura is learning this so young, learning, you know, what guys will say to you to get what they want to get. And the reason why I think this is so evident to Laura so young, guys, is because Steve. Steve treats her literally the complete opposite. He's willing to wait till what? The wedding night. Someday you're going to meet the right guy. Mm hmm. And he'll make you feel special. He'll really love you and you'll really love him. Hmm. And then you know what will happen? We'll have sex. No! <laughs> <laughs> Never gets old. You'll get married! Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, well, sure. That, that, that goes without saying. You see what I'm saying? 
We just gotta, we just gotta pay attention to this. And Steve, Steve is not in this moment, but he knows that this is how she's being raised. What well, say it? <laughs> I like to hear those words. I'm your mother. We'll get married first. We'll get married first. Thank you. Uh huh. <laughs> so powerful. Bye. Right. I'm just as anxious as the next guy. Mm. But I wanna wait. Hmm. I want my wedding night to be special. <laughs> Okay, Steve said, keep yourself pure. Okay, she already pure. Your marriage night will mean more. That is deep. You know, this is Steve kind of telling Laura, like, wait on me. Wait on me. I'm going to treat you right. Laura have shared some very, very beautiful moments. And I think that's the, the beauty of, again, what I love about Stephen Laura, which I think a lot of people hate about them, but I love about them is that Stephen Laura still right now are pure as the snow. Just, I'm just saying, they, think about it for a second. Stephen Laura in love. They have shared very passionate kisses. They're engaged, right? They're extremely attracted to one another at this point. And what? They live under the same roof. So Steve really thinks... That he's going to marry Laura and not touch her for three months. This he <laughs> Steve don't realize he's asking for an explosion. Steve, you're going to explode. Handle your business. That is the beauty of it. When you go and get married, you handle your business. The Bible says to be fruitful and multiply. That is a celebration. Steve, husband and wife. Huh? But Steve. Okay, it, okay, okay. You got me out of here. Exactly, Laura. Exactly. Handle it. <laughs> That's what you do. You get it down with the get down. Exactly. <laughs> oh my God. Buzz Conrad, the famous astronaut. <laughs> meet my honey. Meet my Laura honey. Laura Winslow. Laura Winslow, Buzz Conrad. How do you do? It's very nice to meet you. Great to meet you. <laughs> the International Space Program has chosen you to be the first student in space. Wow. <laughs> Why? I want to know why they wrote this in for Jalil to make hoarse sounds and faces. Look at Laura's <laughs> Look at Laura's face, man. But big things are happening. Big things are popping off. You know what I'm saying? So why'd you pick Steve? Well, the space program had a national science contest and Steve's entry won first place. Mm. Should we, should we like the Urkel AGF 5000? Steve, mm. we're building a prototype Just of your invention right now, and we want to test it in space with you aboard. You right there. I'm the man. You're the man. The man. You're the man. You're the man. Well, uh, need you to train in Houston for six months. I'm not the man. Oh. <laughs> Steve said it. He's the man. He's the man. He's the man. And what is so amazing about this, this is what Laura has been saying. Okay, yesterday is knock, 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 knocking. But remember when Laura said this and this and this? Well, you're intelligent. I yeah. like that. In fact, I think brains are very sexy. Mm. Sexy. <laughs> In a platonic sort of way. Laura, <laughs> Laura, you can't use uh, sexy and platonic describing somebody. You can't do it. That, that's an oxymoron, Laura. Yep. He's smart. Yep. All right. Laura. Let's get to it. What do you love about Steve? That's what's important. Well, he's sweet and he's gentle, and he makes me laugh, hmm. and he's yeah. really smart. Right, 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 right. And you know, one day I think one of his crazy inventions might change the world. What did you hear Laura say right there? Literally predicted this. And why? It's because she has always believed in Steve, and she understands his potential. So this is crazy that it's happening right now after they're committed. But here again, here's the test, though. How do Steve and Laura figure this out? Because they got plans, baby. They got plans. That's why we call this the life lessons of Steve and Laura. I'm the man. You're the man. You're the man. You're the man. I uh, need you to train in Houston for six months. My sweetie and I are scheduled to be hitched in two months. Two months. Why, we've mm. already booked the caterer, the church, the hall. I even hired a cheese sculptor to do our like this in Velveeta. See, we're kissing in a sea of crackers. Of course you are. <laughs> I see. Excuse us for one minute. 
is the difference in the man that Steve Lua would have ever been with. Steve has this great, op- again, test though, guys. But Steve has this great opportunity and he's like, I'm about to get married, bro. Like I got things to handle. Okay. I got things to do, you know, on this level. And I love the fact that that is the difference, right? Laura had her issues with Stefan because he put modeling a lot of times his business, his uh, pockets being fat over their relationship. Steve's not doing that. You know, he, he cut that off real quick. So Laura has to interject now. This in a nutshell, Steve and Laura. Steve, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Right. But Laura, so is marrying you. Hmm. I want to get hitched before you change your mind. <laughs> Steve, that's not going to happen. Hmm. Look, we'll just postpone the wedding until after you return from space. Why, again, I have to call this out. When people say, Laura, May, Steve, wait. Why, why I have to call it out? Because what did Laura just say to Steve? Y'all don't realize she just said yes to him again. She just said yes to him again. When she said, Steve, that's not going to, I want to, Steve said, I want to, I want to, you know what I'm saying? Make this thing happen before you change your mind. Laura says, Steve, that's not going to happen. I told you what it was. I told you I want you and I want to marry you. And so this is what I'm saying that wouldn't you rather have somebody that is sure about the situation? What did I tell you? Laura is in it. She's in it to win it. Whatever comes their way, she's good. Like she's in it. You know, she is ready. What did I say? You know, even when it comes to all these things, when it comes, Steve's like, look, um, it's a, it's a longstanding herbal tradition. We wait the three months. Laura's like, Steve, right? She's ready for it all. Hey, Steve, wait, that whole saying or whatever, it, it, it gets on my nerves because look at this. Laura's unmovable. She's unmovable right now. And reassuring Steve, like, I told you, I told you what it was, man. This is how Steve and Laura balance each other because they're picking up what Steve and Laura are putting down, okay? Steve is putting her first and them first, and Laura is putting him first and them first. Y'all, okay. No wonder I love you so much. Exactly. So reassuring and unselfish. Buzzy! <laughs> Go get him. Go get him. Tell me. Right, right. I'll go on one condition. Okay. I get to steer the space shuttle. No. <laughs> oh. Mom the horn? No. Stay the light? No. Hi, Chaka? Do you? <laughs> and let's also remember, guys, this is so amazing. Let's also remember this isn't for two weeks. This is for six months. This is for a half of a year, if y'all do your math, if you know your math. This is for a half of a year. This is big time by Laura. And, and that's why Steve said it. What, he, Steve summed it up. We're going to bring it back. Steve summed it up when y'all say, what does Steve love about Laura? He just told you. No wonder I love you so much. Because Laura, ha, she's so balanced in so many areas. And, oh, my gosh. And she's so ready. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Like I said before, they have to lie on Laura to make, to make Myra look better, right? So if you go and try to tear somebody else down, it makes the other person look better because Laura, Myra and her antics cannot stand on their own. Laura's can. I've said it many times before. Is Laura perfect? No, she's not perfect. If she didn't, you no. Know, hey, she pops off at Steve sometimes. You know, she doesn't look at things always through the right angle at times. Said those things. But these lies, 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 right? And then it's, the, it's just the lie of, uh, you know, the, you know, Laura making him wait and stuff. But I'm like, this is the point of it. Because now you're in this situation. And Laura has taken, I said this before, Laura has taken inventory on everything. Like I said, Laura predicted this situation that they're in now. Smart. You know, mm-hmm. gotta bring it one back. Day I think one of his crazy inventions might change the world. Right there. Yeah. That part. If he doesn't blow it up first. Mm. <laughs> so Laura, it, Laura waiting was the best thing for them. Because what y'all wanted Laura to do. You wanted to go and have her get with Steve and drag his little Urkel heart around. You know what I'm saying? Like, and y'all would actually clap for that. Actually, probably wouldn't because y'all going to probably hate on Laura regardless. Haters hate. That's what they do. So you're probably going to hate on Laura regardless. There's probably nothing Laura could really do, you know, that would satisfy. Um, because haters never get satisfied, right? That's what keeps them going is the hate. So I get it. Let's go back here for a second. Okay. Daddy, the mom's face. Stefan is handsome and uh, sophisticated. Here we yes, go. Yes, he's a top model and makes a lot of money. Mm. Stefan would make a great husband. Any girl would be lucky to have him. 
And then there's Steve. Two things that, I, that you can take from that one. They were not rooting Steve and Laura on. Okay. At whatsoever. But the other big thing is all the braggadociousness. Okay. All the braggadociousness that they were giving Stefan. He's a top model. He's this and he's that, you know, and look at the, look at the opportunity that's coming Steve's way. Because remember what Laura said. I think one of Steve's crazy inventions, not only went. I wonder if people are getting this. She does not only say, I think it may be successful. Laura says, I think it may be something that changes the world. So what <laughs> Laura just said, you didn't say this about Laura. People don't know why people don't realize this. Laura always raises the bar with Steve. That's what she did, you know, when um, she went and... You're not acting like the Steve Urkel I've come to know and tolerate. Mm -hmm. That Steve Urkel would get out of this jam by using the biggest muscle he has. Hmm. His brain. Ooh. Oh. This dance goes to the one guy who's always treated me like a queen. Steve Urkel. Hmm. He's looking good here too. $100. Yeah, because he's looking good. But well, they're going again, being braggadocious on Stefan. And Laura raised the level on Steve. The inventions might change the world. Right. They people pick that up. Laura is telling her parents to the to their face. Cool. That's nice that Steve Stefan is a um, model, but I think Steve is a world changer because I think that he has something on the inside of him that he can make, build, create that will change the world. So the reason why I say this is why we, we have to stop saying that whole lie and it just gets on my nerves of Laura made Steve wait. That's why it's 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 such a ridiculous statement because Laura is the, the biggest thing that you get from all this. Laura is ready now. She's ready to bring it on what you want. Bring it on Looking for validation from her parents. Like, OK, I want Steve and I want my parents to kind of and they didn't. Right. They, they, they didn't. They went on and on and on about Stefan, but they gave her that nugget that she needed. Mom, what made you say yes to dad? Well, that's easy. I loved him with all my heart, mm. and I felt I couldn't live without him. That's the best advice they gave you, right? That's what, what, what was the, the thing for Laura to be like, that's how I feel about Steve. Steve and Laura have been doing this. This is really nothing different. It's just that now they're in a relationship. They're committed. They're going to get married. They're going to become husband and wife, make some, you know, beautiful children, be beautiful, bright children, okay? Steve and Laura are going to have some beautiful, bright children, but this is nothing different to what they've been doing. You, have, you know, here comes an obstacle. What are they going to do with the obstacle side with Steve somehow through some, through some of the hardest situations, she always, they always land on their feet and then they're stronger for it. Their relationship is stronger for it. And so that's leaving for half of a year, half of a year. Lori has to put her whole life on hold for six months. Not only that. She has to go that long period of time without seeing Steve. That's, that's a, that's a long time to go to see somebody that you love and that you just think about how fresh this part of Steve and Laura's relationship is. It's fresh, right? Y'all know how that is when it, when it's, when it's new, new, you want to be around them every day. I don't know why that changes as, as time goes by. It shouldn't, right? Try to figure out how to keep that relationship fresh and new, but you know, when it's new, new like that. You want to be around them every day. You want to talk to them every day. You want to be up under them every day. You do. Let's just be real about it, right? And so that is the place that Steve and Laura are in. They're in that new new. And here they go again where they have to go and fight through things. And, you know, Laura has to keep her word with Steve. Hey, Steve, that's not going to happen. Laura, I don't want you to change your mind. That is a lot of time to change your mind. It's a lot of time to rethink it. It's a lot of time to be around people that really don't support her relationship with him. There's a lot of time that's going to go by that her heart could change, right? So these, these things always came at Stephen Lord to make them better, to make them stronger, you know, that, that to continue to grow. So this is what I love so much here. We're about to go here real quick. The friendship love. Stephen Lord have to, they, they, they have a romantic love, but now this is going to cause them to have to keep building on their friendship love because the rom romantic love is kind of put on hold. You know what I'm saying? Er, er, it's, there's kind of a stop sign there. Steve and Laura, you know, are as pure as I, I, I don't know, as a, as a born, a newborn baby. You know what I'm saying? They're, and I'm talking about their mind, their souls, their bodies, they're pure. I think where, uh, um, that has helped Laura 
is Laura has not given herself away to nobody. Steve is not giving himself away to anybody and they can think, you know, rationally sometimes, Hey man, let's be doing some things to us. You know what I'm saying? Let's be doing some things to you, you know? And then you get things misconstrued and you're like, I thought I love this person. And da, da, da. the fact that Steve and Laura have always been able to rely on their friendship and rely on their, you know, rely on their love focus to say, Hey, I want all of you, but I want all of you on the wedding night. <laughs> I want all of you on the wedding night. You know, if physical attraction is there. There's a couch there. There's a couple beds available. <laughs> They got a little taste, okay? They got a little taste of what the mar- the wedding night might be like, okay? They got a little taste of it. You know, I think uh, Steve's voice is going to go down a couple notches after that wedding night. You know what I'm saying? Lord, don't break it down a couple notches. You know, but the fact that they have not engaged in that whatsoever, in, you know, living in the same household, they have not engaged in that. And what it, what it shows you is, again, what's going to help Steve and Lord in the long run is focus, is determination, is recognizing, hey, this is something that we both said that we wanted to do. You know, I showed you those things where Laura's been raised, but hey, hold that down to marriage, baby girl. You know, and Steve has been saying this as well. And that they have continued to honor that with each other and, and individually. And to have, you know, um, what, what is that? What is that word people don't like to use? Word no more. I think the word is self-discipline. Steve and Laura show so much self-discipline. Even in some of their kisses while they're right there on the couch, they could have just roly-poly. <laughs> Roly poly right on over. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They could, you know, make it happen, but they didn't. You know, and why I think that is important is because you, you'll recognize in marriage and even in relationships, and actually, really, let's be real, in life, there is a level of discipline that comes with any level of success. And there's a level of discipline that comes with any level of success. So if Steve and Laura want to have this successful relationship, there's discipline that has to be. And Steve and Laura, they, they have that strength, they have that inner strength, right? They have that togetherness. Because it's like they've been preparing since they were young for the rest of their lives. You know that, you know, Steve, knows, they know how to sit down. They know how to talk through things. So that's why I say I'm wrapping it back around. I just the, some of the the um, negativity that comes with waiting. It, it's just it's crazy because what people don't realize now is we do a lot of things out of order. A lot of things that we do are out of order, you know, because we're not waiting on them. And then you're like, oh, it just wasn't right. No, the timing wasn't right. A beautiful thing. And I want to tell people, man, number one. I know, and, and even in my life, I'm not sitting up here lying and, and talking from so like so high, like I just got it together. I don't. Waiting is hard. Waiting is hard. It will challenge your character, okay? But we have to, at the same time, we have to stop acting like it's bad. It is not bad, right? When you want to wait until the, the until you get the wedding ring, when you want to wait until marriage and honor yourself and your, 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 your man or your woman, and you want to honor them by waiting. And that loves you. And tells you that you're special and knows that you're special and he waits with you. He do that? If he loves you. Well, where he at? <laughs> you gotta wait, baby. <sighs> Waiting with see it has been looked at as a negative thing. And it's actually really a beautiful thing. I'm gonna sum it up like this, man. The two, the best gift that Laura, you know, ever gave Steve, contrary to what people want to say, is that she waited until she was ready. That's the greatest thing she could have ever done for Steve because he is getting, can I say it again? He's getting the best version of her and he's getting the virgin version of her. If y'all know what I'm saying, he's getting all of her. Steve gets parts of Laura that ain't nobody had. And I'm not just talking about, but I'm talking about even her heart. This thing Laura ever did with Steve was continue to build a friendship with him and wait it till she was ready. Right. And the biggest gift that Steve gave Laura was patience was patience and grace. And, and these are things I understand. These are so passe. And they're so, no guys, this is what makes relationships work. We have just lost the art form. We have lost the art form. It's like a basketball player that forgot how to shoot. Well, you know what? They're going to lose a lot of games. And that's what we're doing. We're taking L's in life and in love. And we shouldn't be. You know what I'm saying? But that, it is what it is though. That's why these are the life lessons of Stephen Lord. That's why it's so, the, the love story of Stephen Lord is so powerful. But yeah, love God, love people. May God bless you. May God keep you. It's the murder, murder, murder.